Hello and thank you for joining this session. I'm Wojtek from ST Microelectronics Application Laboratory and I'll be talking about safe automation and how it can be implemented using our newest single channel intelligent power switches. Let's have a look at the agenda. We will start with a brief introduction to functional safety and list a few examples of safety critical industries and applications. In the following, we will introduce our newest drivers specifically designed for safe automation, the IPS160 and IPS161H, and list its key performance indicators. In the third part, we will cover the available evaluation tools. So let's talk about safe automation and see how ST technology can help to ensure safety in today's industries. Rapid innovation in automation technology and smart robotics brings the opportunity to reallocate human resources from repeated and tedious jobs to more intelligent and creative tasks. On the other hand, closer and closer interaction between men and machines brings new challenges in protecting their health. The field of safe automation is called functional safety and it is described in the industrial standard IEC 61508, which provides tools to systematically assess risks and prevent the danger by utilizing safety functions. Functional safety is an integral component of many industries like automated manufacturing, transportation, or the oil and gas industry, where failures can potentially put people's lives in danger or result in damage to our ecosystem on a large scale. Let's take the nuclear plants or mass transportation systems as an example. An automated production line is also a potentially dangerous environment for its workers. That's why protection measures and processes must be implemented, and this is the task for applications like safety locks, emergency stop buttons, and safety signaling. Today's factories are complex environments with a layered structure based on sensors and actuators installed across the factory floor. When talking about functional safety, sensors are usually represented by devices like fire and gas alarms, safety end position switches, light curtains and emergency stop buttons. Data from these devices are processed by the digital input interface of a programmable logic controller. Typical safe actuators are safety door locks, signaling lamps, valves, and so on. These devices are controlled by the digital output interface. Sensor and actuator data are concentrated in the PLCs and transported to the enterprise level control and management systems through Ethernet-based industrial networks like Profinet, Ethercat, and so on. SD Microelectronics offers a broad range of integrated smart ICs, which we call Intelligent Power Switches, or IPS. For safe automation, we developed a dedicated product called IPS160H and IPS161H. Both devices are 60 volts rated single channel power switches. The only difference consists in its internal current limitation setup. IPS160 is suitable for driving up to 2.5 amp loads, while the IPS161 fits for currents up to 700 mA. What else is inside? The microcontroller interface contains a diagnostic pin which allows to monitor not only overload but also an open load condition. This feature can detect, for example, a broken lamp in the field. The loads are driven by an integrated low RDS on power MOSFET with high demagnetization energy capability. This is especially important for controlling inductive loads like safety motor brakes. IPS160 is fully protected against overload by means of current limitation and thermal shutdown blocks. On top of that, heating and power dissipation during overload can be effectively zeroed using the cutoff feature. This option ensures the long-lasting reliable operation without production downtimes, which is the key requirement in all industrial applications today. How do all the integrated protections actually work? Let's imagine that meanwhile the IPS161H operates in its normal conditions, the load current suddenly increases. 
This could be caused, for example, by an isolation breakdown resulting from aging degradation. When the output current reaches a certain threshold, the integrated power MOSFET starts to protect itself by limiting the current approximately at 1 amp. This is visible on the green waveform of the scope catcher. Since the limitation produces a significant voltage drop over the power switch, its temperature rapidly increases and eventually reaches the thermal shutdown threshold. From this point on, the output is periodically turned on and off in order to keep the temperature within safe limits. Like with all other ST products, we offer evaluation boards for both IPS160 and IPS161, around with a full set of documentation for fast prototyping and to reduce time to market. These boards are used as a reference for application tests in ST labs as well. All the documentation can be found on the IPS product pages at st.com. Thank you for your attention.